With lathe threading toolpaths, there are different options as to the output of NC code generated. If we go into the threading parameters here for this toolpath, we can see that I'm creating a 13 threads per inch on a half inch rod. If we go into the thread cut parameters, in this NC code format here, we have a drop down with four different types of output for NC code that we can generate. We'll first take a look at CAND here. This generates the shortest, most concise NC code, however with the least amount of control over the toolpath. Let's click OK and then post this toolpath and take a look at the generated code. We'll title this NC code CAND. And we can see here the threading toolpath is two lines of G76. The G76 is the most common CAND thread output for most controls. Its advantage is minor modifications can be made at the machine control only by editing a couple of lines of code here very simply and easily. However, if more complex changes are needed, it's not possible. Let's go back into the toolpath now and change this NC code format to longhand. Notice we're taking four cuts with one spring cut. I'm going to click OK and then regenerate. Let's post process this and title this NC code longhand. We can see the output now for this longhand code is a G32, which is a very common code for CNC lathes and threading operations. If we expand this window here, we can see each of these individual passes. One, two, three, four, and then the final spring pass, five passes. This is a longer code in general. We have more precise control over the machine tool with this longhand code. Now if we go back into Mastercam again, into our thread parameters, and change to another style of NC output, let's take a look at Boxed here. Click OK, and then Regenerate, and post this operation now. We'll label this Boxed, and take a look at the NC code. We can see it also is a shorthand type of CAN cycle using a G92. Now with the G92 the tool is feeding perpendicularly into the stock whereas with the G76 the tool is feeding in at our lead angle. And if we go back into Mastercam one final time and select the final type of NC output which is alternating and then click OK, regenerate, post it and take a look at this code we can see that this code is a type of longhand format using the G32 output. One thing that we can't see though from this code is the manner in which the tool is feeding in. The tool alternatingly feeds in so cutting passes are made on both the left and right side of the tool. So for example on the first feed move the pass would be on the right hand side of the tool. The second feed move for this pass here would be on the left hand side thus called the alternating style of output. Now these four different styles of NC code here are all going to create a half 13 thread. However the longhand method will give us the most control over the toolpath and the cutting parameters.